Initial thoughts when you heard Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Casey, go. My initial reaction was like, the only way that it's a win for Jake Paul is if he loses. Because if he wins, then he knocked out the beloved Mike Tyson, and who's older, what, 57? 57. So, yeah. that, so that's not a win. If, and then if it's a sparring match and it's really nothing, that, that's not a win. But if he loses, my, my point was like, the boxing heads have complained that, that Jake hasn't paid his dues to get to this point. And you knock out the if, face of boxing yeah, for how many years? But if you get knocked out by Mike Tyson, that's kind of a fast track to paying your dues a little bit. I'm just that's if you care about the boxing fan base. Right. I'm, Which clearly he might because him taking these like lower level fights of guys we don't know, that's him even though he says he doesn't care, that's him one want, wanting to get validation from the boxing fan base which he's never going to get and you're sure as hell not going to get it knocking out Mike Tyson. They're going to hate you even more. That's why I told him I said, "You think you have haters now? Knock out the beloved Mike Tyson at 57." Like he let's say he starts cold cocked out cold. The oxygen mass on Mike Tyson. Bro, the amount of visceral hate he's going to get, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Does not care. I think he has to go in there and knock him out. I'm with you. But as far as like Jake's career, you got to starch him. Starch him. Who else want it? Do, who, don't, who cares? Who else want it? I'm, I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying it, it's a win for Jake if he loses. Yeah, I know you are. Oh, okay. I'm saying it's not. Okay. It's a win for him if he wants the validation for the boxing community. Right, right. He's never going to get. Right. If he won 20 fights in a row from legit boxers and got knocked out by Canelo, still no validation. He's never going to get. <laughs> he's searching for something. He's searching for Bigfoot, and it's not real. He's never getting validation from the boxing community. I don't know why he cares. Dude, fight the biggest, what she's doing, fight the biggest names possible. That are the easiest fights with your experience. Make the most money possible and ride off in the sunset or go do a show over here or sell this product over there. It's prize fighting. This is the biggest prize. The biggest prize. Netflix has 227, 237 million subscribers. It's going to be free on there. If you care about fighting, care about the fighters, it's a good thing. Hopefully they negotiate TV rights. They won't, but it, it gets the UFC into the netflix space which is where you want to be right now yeah, they want live sports and yep. ufc's contracts up at the end of the year if this goes well which is going to crush then we go okay our fans actually watch fighting let's bring in the real big dogs and the ufc's going to sign a massive deal just like the wwe did boom game set match this is headed in the right direction even though you, how much you guys hate jake paul and you hate the thought of him cold cocking mike a 57 year old mike tyson and knocking him out in hindsight, it's it's as messed up as this to say him starching Mike Tyson is actually better for the sport because it gets them in and it's going to go viral. Of course. Yeah. Viral. And then Netflix is like, cool, yeah, we got the money. They have all the money. And they, they're going to pay for the UFC. That's what we want. And UFC on Netflix is going to be lit. I'll take it.